We're gonna start this puppy up. Clear, prop. And welcome back to Tip of the Week. We're still at Oshkosh 2019. Now let's listen to the proprietor of Aero Momentum Engines and learn more about his product line, his array of small aircraft engines for the experimental home builder. Hi, this is Mark Hettering at Oshkosh 2019 and I'm with Aero Momentum and we have a complete line of aircraft engines from uh, 85 horsepower, 100 horsepower, uh, up to, uh, well that one's 131, we have 147. This is our new baby, this is 260 horsepower, a little under well, 315 pounds. It's turbocharged and normalized to about 25, 30,000 feet if you want to put it up in an RV and fly up in the flight levels with the 737s. This is the engine for you. All of our engines are 100% brand new and from the very beginning we only deal with brand new engines. Our 100 to 147 are based on Suzuki. Um, our uh, smaller engines, a three-cylinder from a very popular car manufacturer, and our largest engine, the 260, is a uh, four-cylinder, um, turbocharged. We convert from direct injection to port injection, and that's a very important thing for aircraft use. On our three-cylinder, we have the large offset gearbox, and we keep it upright. On our Suzuki-based, we have either upright and we also have a low profile that fits in cowlings. Uh, some of the airplanes that we have it installed in are um, RV-12, uh, Zenith 701, 601, 750, uh, 650. We have a customer that's going to put one of our bigger engines in an 801. Um, we have lots of them in weight shift trikes, uh, powered parachutes, uh, six shooter. For example, they have at least about a dozen of our engines, Aventura, uh, Sonex, uh, the list keeps going on and on. We have a large number of various airplanes that are now flying with our engines. Three cylinder is still pretty new for us, but uh, we're so far very happy with it. We we're originally going to rate it at 75 horsepower because that's a factory rating. We added a, it's not shown, but we have a tubular header that really helps an engine produce more power. We got 89.5 on the dyno, but like all of our engines, on the dyno we meet or beat our horsepower uh, rating. This one produced 89.5 horsepower on the dyno, and we rated it 85. Our 100 horse uh, versions generally produce like 105 or 107 on the dyno. Uh, we've had our 147 go out the door producing 155 horsepower on the dyno. Uh, each engine, every engine that goes out the door is run on our dyno. We actually now have two in-house dynos. Uh, we needed something a little bigger for our, our new bigger engine. Uh, 260 horsepower was beyond what our dyno could um, absorb at the rated RPM. One thing about our new 260 horsepower is you'll notice this very um, involved um, exhaust manifold in turbo and it's a very large turbo that allows the engine to produce a power up to basically 30,000 feet. Be very cautious if you get an automotive based turbo uh, that's uh, sized for that engine from the automobile company since you can get compressor stall when you go up to altitude. Um, this one's designed, as I said, to go up to over 30,000 feet. Our, this is a new gearbox for us. It's designed actually for like 350 horsepower with the two to one safety factor, um, considering the pulsing of a four cylinder engine. This engine fits in the length, width, and height of a Lycoming 360. 
The mounts back here are actually Lycoming 360 standard straight mount. We also do a Lycoming 360 dynafocal mount ears. And uh, they're not on here, but we have two small radiators. Or actually, they're not even that small. Two radiators on either side. So this will fit in a cowling that's designed for Lycoming and utilize the factory air, air inlets. So it'll be a, a super insta easy installation on anything that can take a Lycoming 360 or even a Lycoming 540. RV-12 flew in from uh, Texas on Saturday and the true top speed on this is 151 miles per hour and that's what the propeller um, adjusted to compromise. It can have good climb, 1600 foot per minute climb and so now we have absolutely no cooling issues with our standard factory radiator. He can take off on a 100 degree Texas day and go full throttle up to whatever altitude he wants and never a hint of overheating, which would be rather difficult with a Lycoming or a Continental or a Rotax for that matter. We also now have a all-in-one engine instrument, um, the Aerograph. This is $465 and it provides 100% of the engine instruments with warnings. Even though it only displays four things at once, you can page through it. And since it's a CAN bus instrument, you can add multiple instruments, d just daisy chain them. That $465 includes a wiring harness and the three sensors, oil pressure, fuel pressure, and oil temperature, but then the rest of the information it takes right off of the um, CAN bus that the engine ECU has. Some of the mounts that we have, oh this is a chipper mount, and that's all of course precision CNC'd. We have the RV-12 mount, this is a Zenith 750 and uh, 650, we also have it for the other Zenith aircraft. Uh, this is a Savannah mount, but uh, this isn't ours, but we can mount to our three-cylinder. We have an option of using Rotax standard mounting points. So any engine, I'm sorry, any aircraft that originally had a 912 can now use our um, AM10. Just bolt it right up to those mounts. Propeller lines exactly in the same place. This is one of our intercoolers for our big engine. We're, from the very beginning, our engines came with uh, wiring harnesses that are plug and play. But the, some of the things that are a little hard to mount were the circuit breakers and the ignition switch. We now have a little panel that provides mounting for that. And we also mark it on the back side. This one isn't. So you can either do it vertical or horizontal. This is our AM10. It's a one liter three cylinder. And we chose this engine, um, and we buy the engine brand new from the manufacturer. And we chose this one very specifically because it's not a long stroke. Uh, the same manufacturer offers uh, a longer stroke version, but you really want to avoid long stroke engines in aircraft. This one's 85 horsepower, and right now this version has a bed mounts, but we also offer an aft mount that is a Rotax 912 standard. The propeller turns the same way as a Rotax 912. The length is about the same and it fits in about the same area as a 912. And any, any aircraft that's flying on the 80 horsepower 912, this will be a, a boost in power, a little less weight, um, a lot less cost. It's $7,500. Our next one up the line is our AM13, which is 1.3 liter, and this is Suzuki based. And again, like all of our engines, it's we start with a brand new engine or brand new block and build the engine from there. We have the 1.3 is upright, as shown here, mostly used in the pusher aircraft, but used in some tractors. We also slant this engine over and we have various versions of the 1.3. The stock one is 100 horse, and then we have 112 and 126 horsepower. And the 100 horse replaces a 912 um, IS, and it's a little more weight, but about 20 pounds more when you're finally installed. 
and it's a little more power because, as, as I said before, we dyno this at over 100 horse every time. Plus, we have the options of the 112 and even 126. So now we're up and over the power of a 914 and uh, below the weight of a 914 or a 915 um, IS. The next one in the line is the AM15 and we do from 117 is our, our base version then 131 and 147. And again the AM15 can be a low profile like this or it could be an upright like the display engine for the AM13. This can replace from you know a 9, well 912 and that's kind of what it's replacing here. Uh, but also can replace a 914 or a 915 IS. And compared to a 915 IS, I, don't know, I guess it's about a third the cost and um, more power. <laughs> and less weight, uh, less weight than the, the 915 IS. This installation, uh, this is all, all it needs is everything is set. This flew up here a few days ago. This is the radiator that it takes. Uh, we do have an oil cooler on this because it's a high power version. Uh, this one's 131. Our big boy, our 2.0 turbo. 260 horsepower and as I said, uh, this is derated from 274. And this is based on a, a different manufacturer's block. And we do it upright, and again, it's within the length, width, and height of a Lycoming. And the propeller line is exactly the same as a Lycoming, like a 360, a 390. Uh, but it has the power, and it has a weight of, the, of a 360 or 390 angle valve, but it has a power of a 540. And on top of that, it can maintain that power up to nearly 30,000 feet. This is 315 pounds. It's about a uh, little under $19,000. Webpage, aeromomentum.com, and also uh, sales at aeromomentum.com are good to get us. <laughs> and phone number is 772-240-2266. And there you have it. And if you're totally confused on how to select a small engine for your home-built aircraft, don't forget our previous tip on selecting a small aircraft engine for your aircraft. In the meantime, back to building. Everyone.